So to come back and actually start here in Southern California, it must be great for you. It happened very fast, uh, but <clears throat> no, it's nice to, to uh, you know, have my first day with the organization in LA. Um, it was easy, I was in, in Reno, and it was a short flight to LA, and uh, yeah, it made, made it very convenient. Randy, can you take us through the timeline uh, from your last start in Reno on the 9th to how you kind of got here at this point? Well, um, you know, it really happened fast yesterday. I was actually, there was a couple of teams that were involved. And there was one team that I was pretty much leaning towards, and uh, the Marlins kind of happened last minute, and, um, you know, it just evolved very quickly. And there wasn't much time for me to really kind of um, let things settle mentally. It was kind of a decision that I needed to make right away, but to me it was a no-brainer. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, I was just excited for the opportunity that, that Florida was willing to give me. Did they explain to you what the role was going to be? You know, I, I saw Red for, like, honestly two seconds. Um, you know, I haven't really talked to them about exactly what's going to happen. You know, I at the point where I got the call, you know, um, you really don't care that much. You know, even though I'm 37, I've had quite a bit of time in the big leagues. It kind of feels like a first time call up, um, especially with how this year has gone. So I was just excited with the opportunity and, and I felt that, you know, whatever my role would be with this team to help out, that's what I'll do. Um, obviously, Jose Fernandez's injury had yeah. something to do with this. Kind of reaction to that and um, were you aware, of, when were you aware of that? Well, I was, I was aware of it pretty early. Um, and, uh, you know, I know for him, I don't know him personally, but, you know, watching him from afar, you could tell he's kind of an emotional kid. and. That's part of what makes him so dynamic as a as a pitcher and as a player and a presence in a clubhouse and a team and and I could tell um, from Sean Cunningham that you know it was definitely not only a uh, physical blow to the team but kind of an emotional blow to the team and uh, I know for an organization to to lose a guy like like him who's probably the most exciting young player like that since like Dwight Gooden he's kind of, I think that's the best comparison. Um, you know, that's obviously a blow to a team, and, and uh, it's definitely unfortunate for him, but at the same time, you know, at 21 years old, you know, trust me, I've been there, I've done it a couple times, so I know that if he does his rehab right, he's smart, and he's um, has a slight bit of OCD with his program, he'll be back to the dominant pitcher that he is. What do you think you could bring to this? Obviously, it's a very young rotation. Even right. when Jose was here, it's very yeah. young. Um, being a veteran guy, what do you think you could bring to this club? Well, I, I think I could bring some... Uh, I, I think, as a pitcher, I've always prided, prided myself on being consistent. I think, uh, you know, um, giving a team a chance to, to win when I go out there, and I think I'm a pretty good presence in the clubhouse. Um, you know, Playing in AAA this year uh, was actually a really good experience for me because they gave me kind of an extended role to help out their young guys out there. And, and uh, you know, it was great to see guys come to me and ask a lot of questions. And, and I feel that I have a good idea um, of what may help each individual guy. I'm not quite ready to go the coaching route yet, but uh, but it was it was a nice role to, to help out in those ways. and, and you know, as a young starting pitcher, the one things that you learn is is yourself, your routine, what you need to do physically, mentally to get ready. Um, I mean, my whole career, most guys on the staff have had better stuff than me, but I think the one thing that's kept me in this game is my ability to prepare mentally and physically to to go out there and, and compete every start. Two Tommy John surgeries. You're an older guy, obviously. Did you? I would have to think the thought crossed your mind about giving it up, or no? Well, the thought, the, the only thing that crossed my mind was um, to give it another chance. I, I felt that, you know, I, I, the one thing I'm really against is living your life with any kind of regret. And my thought was, you know, why not go out and rehab for a year? If it doesn't work out, I'm going to do everything I can to see if it will. But if it doesn't, I did everything I could. And if it does, I feel like it's a great story. Um, and it's a good accomplishment for me personally. Because uh, it's it's a long road. It, it, it takes a lot of perseverance, and to be away from the game and not be on a team last year uh, was was difficult. But at the same time, gave me the freedom to do what I needed to do. You know, on a rehab basis, without being under the supervision of a team, I could take it slower than maybe a team wanted me to. And um, I think that definitely helped out. But 
you know, I've never taken the game for granted ever, but obviously when you're away from it for a year, uh, to be back, you know, not only in spring training in a uniform and then have kind of a strange year like I've had you this year, you know, it really makes you appreciate these moments that much more. How do you, how do you think your stuff is playing compared now? Obviously, you're, like you say, 37 and a little mile. You know, when, when I was uh, 23 years old, I threw 86 to 91 miles an hour, and so far I've been 86 to 91 miles an hour. Um, People seem to think I used to throw hard, but I never really threw hard. Uh, and the one thing that I've been surprised with this time having surgery, my curveball took a long time to come back after my first Tommy John. And this year, and so far coming back, it's really been there uh, pretty consistently. So that's been something that's that's been nice. But, um, you know, for me, it's it's been kind of a confidence builder every time I'm out there and get to the 100 pitches plus and, and bounce back and have a good bullpen. And, that's really where you know your recovery level is. When you're out there, you can kind of um, pitch and keep on going, but it's when the next day and the day after that when you bounce back, that's when you know you're feeling pretty good. Thoughts on being here and back at Dodger Stadium, the home in the LA area, and just kind of the way it, it worked out with the Marlins needing you at this moment here in LA? It was, uh, I mean, it was. it's a great opportunity, and it was definitely convenient for me. It was a nice thing to, to just fly home and spend one night in my bed and uh, um, but at the same time I think I would have flown to Zimbabwe if it was a chance to be in a big league team so <clears throat> it worked out that it was only an hour flight from Reno and and get to sleep in my bed but uh, um, you know it's just exciting to be back here in, in this kind of atmosphere and, and to get an opportunity.